Hey guys, and welcome back to Thornton Farm. Now then, in today's episode, we are going to be cutting the grass at the church. Um, but first off, the council gave us our grant. Uh, we now have two T7 to tens with the front mowers and the single rear mowers. Uh, so that's quite good. Uh, still got all of that equipment there, still got this tractor. And someone did mention having that topper on the back of this. I didn't think of that, but I might do that because that topper would work rather well. Uh, so yeah. Now for where we're going today, it's just a church. We don't need much equipment, so we'll just take this stand on, and then this mower here. Um, the other mowers, or the other mower, is there. Uh, JCB, we don't need to take that. Uh, so yeah, we'll just head down in this today. So, hopefully it shouldn't take too long um, to do the church. Uh, it's a rather small site, but there is there's a fair bit to do um, in terms of the area of grass that we have to do. Oops, I crashed again. And it turns out that they're not locked on. Brilliant. Let's cause a traffic jam. There we go, that's what we need. Um, so well, I've got various comments, take diff lock off and that. I've sort of just forgotten about them really. Four wheel drive is the only thing I need to make this mobile work properly anyway. Um, yeah, I sort of understand that. So four wheel drive will just stay on because makes sense that, that stays on um, X and then to lock it it's oh there we go right okay I understand what that did why they came off so previously we cut this uh, the BGA is looking nice and cut there no long grass and um, yeah we're not really going to be doing Oops, uh, much else in terms of just normal big industrial places. That's uh, so basically the only one that we have. Um, right, that's a pain because every time that I click O, oh, Let's see what we can do here to get this back on. <laughs> Not the greatest thing, but I mean, got it on. That's okay. All right, have to. Uh... There we go. Well, that should hopefully work properly now. I think we'll just have to leave that HUD on. It's a slight pain when we take it off. Um, right, last thing to go on is this stand on. Hopefully, it shouldn't be too, too difficult. 
Um, so yeah, I uh, won't be doing many industrial properties anymore. Uh, industrial estates, like I said, this the only one that's really around here is the biogas plant thing place uh, that's, that's it really um, big areas of grass though that that is like the castle Stonehenge and all the little jobs for, well I say little job verges um, gardens and the church for example the pub they're fairly small jobs I mean, we can get them done in an hour or less green light for once so this could turn out to be a bit of an issue because as you see a rather large load there and it doesn't really fit in through that gate so, the Unimog does, just about, this doesn't, as you can see there, I believe I've just messed that up completely actually, because uh, technically I won't be able to get out of here. There. Hopefully that's okay. Cars won't be able to get past, no. However, we can just unload the mowers, put the trailer up and just leave the flashing lights and hazards on. First off though, classic thing, we need to unlock the load. It's the equivalent of taking ratchet straps off and everything. Then we have this mower. So well, I did experience trying to set up uh, for example, telehandler controls with an Xbox controller, and it didn't quite work. Uh, otherwise, I was going to do like some form of like, video on how to do that. Yeah, it wasn't working nicely. I thought I'll just abandon the idea on doing that uh, otherwise that could have been a fairly good video there we go right time to cut this grass I'm not entirely sure when the last time that this grass was cut properly. Um, we will just have to assume that it was cut a very long time ago, judging by how much it has grown. But yeah, hopefully it shouldn't take us too long. We're 10 minutes into the video now. It should be okay. I also have £46,000, so that is good. Um, we're not running out of money. We could afford a new type of mower, however I'll leave that for you guys to decide. Um, if I did, it would be the walker mower that is in this pack. Um, let's see if I can find it. That mower there. Don't know, might might get it. Uh, be it's quite it's got rear wheel steering. Therefore, it should be okay. Like going around trees and that sort of hard to turn around obstacle, and that would be the reason that I get that mower. Is if we have a lot of work where trees play a big factor in the area. This thing really doesn't like turning, does it? Diff lock are going to have to stay on, unfortunately, for this. This doesn't quite like reversing. And as well, wondering why I'm 
got that small mower with me it's so I can do around these gravestones a bit better go through them um, yeah just do the general area around them you know, we can get the big areas here with this smaller areas we can't um, so yeah I think if we do around here now Uh, that's going to be a job for the smaller mower. Behind these gravestones, I'm not entirely sure if I can get a mower behind there at all. Um, it will be quite interesting to see if I can or not. I mean, that'd be where the strimmer is quite good, but that strimmer just falls over. <laughs> that's why you don't see me using it. Yeah, there's quite a few errors with some of the mods that I've attempted to use. And I know it's not me, because I've heard about other people having those issues. So yeah, right. We'll do now, we'll just get around these edges and then we'll get on that stand-on mower. We will do the main part around the gravestones we do a border. So there isn't really a defined border for this uh, cemetery. So we sort of just cut one every now and then. Even if we're not coming to cut the main section of grass, we will come and cut the border just so the intruders don't, don't uh, think uh, we can get in here easily. Um, still on the land that's on the other side there. Oh, there is a, a wall actually, I didn't see that there. So maybe we won't have to cut this so often. But it's something to do. We will have a main sort of track running up between the graves here. Uh, what I might do as well is make some form of like dirt car park here and um, so bring down our little tractor with a big tractor and a cultivator a plow and make a dirt track car park thing that would sort of be held around here I mean we could possibly put like a temporary building here so a tent um, so I mean giant editor brilliant tool I can just we could make some form of dirt car park here and then in Giants Editor put the tent on not the circus tent but like a caravan maybe I don't know make it look okay right would be quite nice as well if we could get lines and um, so for example uh, golf course as you see the lines there that's where the grass has been flattened down in a certain direction so when it's been cut it gets rolled over well a roller goes over it more like um, and it flattens the grass down and in the sun it looks a lot better even when it's not sunny you can still see the lines because it grass is physically facing a different direction Nice if this mower could go faster than 11 miles an hour. <laughs> Would be quite good. Comments as well. I haven't looked at any comments, replied to any for a week because I was away. Um, so yeah, let's uh, have a look at some. Alright, walk on mower, stand on should I say. Uh, that's what we'll do then, going in between these graves I think. So YouTube Creator Studios. Right, 
but I think not much more to do here with this mower. So that's okay. Move on to the smaller mower very shortly. Comments, there we go. Moves well, uh, episode one. Uh, your wheels are getting stuck in the mud. Yep, uh, they are. Just something I have to live with. Thornton Farm, episode one. Can I have a link for the mo movers? Movers? Whatever it says there. Um, if you just type in FS15. X mark for mower pack, it will come up with it. Um, episode 3 Thornton Farm, could you buy a T7 200 series? I'm not sure. Can I buy one? Do I have one at least? 200, there we go. Might be able to. I mean, what I've got at the moment is at 210, I think. Um, yeah, I might be able to get one. I can't find the universal bucket anywhere. Please help. Not sure what you mean by that. Um, probably, I think I've heard of a mod, but I'm not sure. Where do you get the trainers? Uh, trailers from, I can't find them, also nice also Unimox um, nice bid uh, Unimox, no idea where I got them from, must have got them over a year ago at Christmas time 2014 is it? 15, just after Christmas 2015, I don't know um, where you get the garage from? No idea. FS15 mods, I think, maybe? Um, yes, do contracting. Yeah, that's what I'll be doing. Maybe. I'm not too sure. Is there a turbo topper mod which you could use? Yeah, right, that's the comment I was on about. Um, might be able to. Could you please turn diff lock off? Yes. Um, please do these videos more often, they're absolutely brilliant, thank you very much. Where do you get the building from? No idea again, I'll try and find a link. Can I have a link to the truck? Um, don't know which truck you mean. If it's a Tatra that I was using, that's a gold DLC. It's a part of that DLC. Um, you should get the Verge Mower Dagwin has. Yeah, I should, but it doesn't work. Uh, so fortunately, I can't. Please do rock clearance. Uh, bro, your channel has just blown up. It has a bit, yeah. You can't mow the grass at the roundabout or the church. Um, now, I personally can. I don't know about you guys. Um, don't think the map has the capabilities for it. But what I did was I went into Giants Editor. And if you want to do this, Giant's editor is found on the internet. Don't get it from any dodgy sites though. I'm pretty sure it comes with the game as well. Um, and you can just find the numbers which correspond with the catapult grass. Ace um, in Conway, nice vid, thank you. Uh, yeah, you should keep the John Deere for the gardens. Yeah, I'm going to keep it, I'm not going to sell it anymore. Yes, more mods, please. Yeah, I'll try to put some more mods in that. Uh, on Naveswell. Use follow me mod and drive the combine. I probably will end up doing that. I think I did that in a previous video. Or one that's going to go out. Uh, do some whole crop now. That's a video that went out a while ago, I think. So that will be there. Mate, why didn't you do a headland with the big M? 
I forgot. <laughs> uh, pretty much. I think that video went on for a very long time. That might be the 45 minute long video. Let's have a look. I can't see it actually. Uh, Naves Law Farm episode 8 Holcrop. Uh, we have two fast tracks on our farm. Nice. Uh, which fast tracks are they? Uh, no need for that front weight. All the tractors that you see in Naveswell have front weights on them uh, because when I'm pulling equipment through that mud, front tires I don't quite want them coming off the ground because then that loses the ability to steer. Uh, do Thornton next. Cool, I was just doing some whole crop my, on my save game like five minutes ago. Very nice. Can you link all mods in the description of the video? Uh, because I wanted all the trailers. Um, I could try at some point. I might do what Landy Kid did and did like a Google Docs of it. Like, or Sheets, whatever it is. Um, use the fast track on the map instead of the Massey. Yep. Um, why is there a chrome badge on the steering wheel? Can I have a link to the Jeep? Uh, it's not a Jeep, it's a Land Rover. Land Rover Defender 90, if you look on the internet for that, FS15 Land Rover Defender 90, you can find it there. Another video, could you do some rock clearance on Thornton with the placeable rock mod? Uh, if that's a rock mod which I'm thinking of, which was just brought out on FSUK, that requires you to do some cultivating, but yes I might do that because I'd quite like to see how that works. Um, Plus, gives me another use to use my skid steers. Skid steer. Um, so yeah, you might see that coming up soon. Great video, love the new series. Just earned yourself another subscriber. Thank you very much, um, Ross G. No rain, uh, and be cool if you did a map. Mm, was that me saying that I might make it a map? Possibly. Good video as well. Uh, went to Thornton in a few days. Yep. What's a mod that lets you compact and buck quick the pit? I think that's BGA Extended. Now, somebody give me a link to that on FSUK um, in the finding the mod section. I will have to try and find that again because that mod is brilliant for getting really realistic clamping and that. Uh, for example, I can now actually clamp it properly. So you move the recent stuff up to the top at the back, and you can sort of just distribute it a bit better. Again, please, can you put a link in for all the mods? It's quite difficult, actually because half these mods I don't really keep tabs of where I get them from I mean my computer is on the internet for, I don't know it gets say about 12 hours a day um, or connect to the internet at least yeah, when it's turned on and whilst that I'm doing other stuff I will visit over 100 websites a day. So yeah, if if I was to go back look through the history, through my internet history, it'd be impossible to find out where I got the mods from, because 100 websites a day—that's that's quite a lot. Um, so yeah, thinking, could you do a small yard like yours, but a bigger yard on this map? That's something I'm going to try and do actually. Um, we are going to do a bit of area clearance, uh, put it like that. Um, so what will happen is I will do, well, find an area and we can play it like a farmer wants a new yard and he wants an area clearing. He can't personally do it himself because he's got so much to do. Um, all of his friends are busy and he hasn't got many friends and we've been come, uh, brought in to make a yard for him you know what, next episode that's going to happen 
because we got the two tractors which are just brilliant we can buy a plow a cultivator or even hire them in because I can just shovel on the back of the lorry and we'll get done uh, and yeah so that would be quite good oh, it's taking forever to do this I didn't think it would take this long I thought this would be like a nice little, little 25 minute long episode it's going to be about 35 minutes now Right, yeah, so that's what I'll do next episode. That should be quite a nice little um, mini series inside this bigger series. Because um, it, will, it won't be just one episode of that that I do. Plowing will probably be like an episode's worth, maybe. Cultivating like the ground clearance will be one. And you never know if I can find a mod for like excavators and that, and we'll put like water lines in or simulate doing that. I think that'd be quite cool. Um, first off, what we would have to do, we have to mow the area. So I might do that off screen, possibly. And uh, yeah. And do it like that. Whoa, this is a big area to do. All by myself. <laughs> I reckon Big Mama would actually fit through there as well. So possibly didn't even have to use this little mower for all these parts here. Right. You know what? I think. We can do this off screen maybe. Um, at least actually I know what I can do here. Majority of the centre stuff out of the way. Um, yeah, quite good. I might do a little video on like editing part of this map as well, maybe, and uh, show you guys the basics of Giant's editor. That'd probably go down quite well. do this job properly because it annoyed me if I didn't. There we go. Right, now it's time to do the opposite of what we just did. This is getting insane now because I wasn't expecting there to be this much work to do. But with these obstacles, because it's basically what they are, it makes it a little bit harder. As long as we've got these big patches of grass up, where it should be okay, so I can't do everything. I would really, really could do with that strimmer working to be able to make this series as realistic as possible. Because what you sort of do is you use a strim around these gravestones because you physically can't get that close to them with the guard that's around this mower. Um, so yeah, almost done now. I reckon about another minute, maybe. Yep. 
yeah that walker mode would be a lot better I think because it's it's got the tight turning circle but it's also got the ability to work quite well on these bigger jobs I think we'll have to get it on higher I think for the next job that we do the ground clearance sort of thing we will do some of that and I'll record that straight after this but I will put that rock clearance one in because I can get two requests in there in one video if I do that anyway that is at last the end of this video um, so thank you very much guys for watching um, don't forget to like subscribe comment and share as it really does help and I will catch you in the next one goodbye